What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to the next episode of the Shiny Academy Challenge. So yeah, uh, last week we dealt with Snivy and the non-binary revolution. Uh, let's just say that'll be a he hectic episode in the series. Okie dokie, just gotta check stream. Readers, apparently I need to log in. Hang on. There you go. Got myself a nice drink here. Num -num. <sighs> See if anyone's joining me in the chat again tonight. Probably not, but yeah, no. Nah. Make sure this is all sorted out before we can spin the wheel. Ugh, I keep forgetting to do that. Right. It is time to spin the wheel. And now, folks, our first hunt of tonight will contain... Tepic. Okay, Tepic. Let's do Tepic. Let's get the overlay sorted out. If I get Oshawott next week, I'm going to lose it, because then that's perfectly in sync with the universe starting roster. Starter roster. Oops. This one. Instead of a little bit of cotton, we'll put a pig. We'll put a little piggy. There we are. All set. Now. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to get something ready for the Twitch Clippy is seven day. Do you mind? Honestly, the rudeness of some people. We're not after beef, we're after some pork. And as I showed during the listen video, this will not be hard whatsoever. And while we're flying, I shall take my continental drink. Or whatever you call having a drink up, up in the air. Ah. 
those Oasis drinks are gonna get me through the flipping summer, I can tell you, lads. Here we are. We know the process by now. But before we actually do this, I kind of want to check. Yeah, no tepics. How annoying. Mm, nope. Okay. Right. Cucumber, pickle, and red, red bell peppers. Salty and sweet. Then we're gonna get some more Herb and Mystica by next week. There we are. Problem solved. This ball is getting really annoying, I have to admit. Either way. Nom. Now, question is, does the little piggy want to be nice to me? Probably not, because I can already see problems, as in the fact that there's already a bit of yellow on the snout of the original piggy. But don't worry, we shall get it done. Hmm, where do you be? I have to admit, after what happened last week, this feels quiet. This feels quiet. And yeah, don't to mention, if anyone's uh, watching the VOD, welcome, I hope you're doing good. Please consider liking and subscribing, very pretty please. Apologies for the quiet. Don't know what to exactly do about those gravelers. Must be static spawns or something. Ok, 
Come on, pig. Give me pig. We're looking for that prime rib shiny. Although I think prime rib is usually said for slices of pork, uh, beef, not pork. When you realize that Tepic doesn't need its meat to be cooked, because it's already been cooked for the fact that it's been a fire attack. I feel like I should nickname this Mondo. It'd probably make more sense if the shiny looked blue. For people who don't know, um, back in 2020, Netflix released a show called Keepo and the Age of Wonder Beasts. And like, it came out at the same time as the Owl House did. And I was set for life when it came to those two shows. Those two shows were amazing. I've talked enough about um, the Owl House, so I don't need to bring that much up, but Keeper on the Age of Wannabes just had so much art direction and charm. It was amazing. Like, it followed um, this character named Keepo. It was like, um, it w they were, she was a part of a tribe um, in the future. Uh, they were called Burrows. Like, they lived in places called Burrows. And everyone, like, at first calls her the Burrow Girl. Because she came from a burrow. And, like, one day she, due to a series of unfortunate events, due to an evil plot that I'll keep spoiler free, Kipo um, kind of gets shoved into the surface which is quite dangerous to humans at this point in the future. And at some point, uh, Kipo meets another human that has been thriving through the surface named Wolf. Um, I'll leave you to figure out why she's called Wolf. And it's not that way either, trust me. I'll say legitimately, she's not called Wolf because of that. And the main reason why I'm bringing this up is she also finds like a mutant pig named Mondu. Well, she, he, he isn't called Mondu when she finds him, but she calls, she calls him Mondu, and the, the name stuck sticks for the entirety of the show. But honestly, the concept of the show was amazing. The twists and plot, the plot twist was really good. It was. If you haven't, if you got a Netflix account, go and watch it. It's lovely, amazing show to binge. It's only got 30 episodes, and it, frankly, I don't think it needs any more. Like the show ended perfectly. It didn't need any more adjustments or anything. I still really want to call him Mondu. I think Mondu is like a special um, mochi meal that people make in Japan. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whoops. Good away, 
Jesus. None of you are not yellow. We are looking for an or we are not looking for orange piggy, we're after yellow piggy. A far side then. I think, frankly, I'm missing the fact that I got a show to watch recently, because obviously the Owl House ended last year, which was devastating for me, especially for the fact that it, sh it was supposed to go longer, but Disney decided to not have any fun, because it's Disney, and they just wanted to shove people's faces in with mediocre sequels and princesses and crap. <clears throat> I'm looking at you, Wish. But yeah, um, at the moment, I think I'm just struggling to find something to stick with. It kind of makes me feel a bit bitter about One Piece, frankly, because I keep hearing about how massively amazing the show is and that you should watch it, blah, blah, but I don't know. Like, I... When I feel pressured to do something, I'm not the biggest fan of doing it. And not to mention, considering this show has the reputation of having over 1,000 episodes. I don't know about you, but it's not a bit... What's the word? Uh, overwhelming? I'm not denying this show might be good. It's just... I don't even know where to start. I think the closest anime I could ever consider trying to pick up that I haven't already would probably be Hunter x Hunter. Like, I've heard a lot of good things about that. And maybe, yeah, uh, what's that? Um, Kimiko can't communicate or something? I have heard good things about that one. But when it comes to regular shows, like, not, I'm not regular show, I mean, a regular, like, I'm. Western animated show, there you go. I'm struggling to find something. Heck, I couldn't really s stick to watch um, Transformers Earth Spark either. I don't know what puts me aside to it. One thing I did like about Earthspark is I like what they did with Megatron. Like gave him a new character perspective. Makes me think of what happened with him in the IDW comics. <laughs> For people who don't know, like that people have been exploring Megatron's um Megatron's character when it comes to the idea that what he what if he realizes that what he's done is wrong? And then he ditches Decepticonism and becomes an Autobot. It's kind of a awful thing to think about when you think about it. The idea of Megatron becoming an Autobot. It's weird. But hey, some continuity have managed to make it work. IDW kind of did a really cool thing like a retired, a more aged Megatron kind of has wisdom into the idea that yeah he's fucked up and I haven't seen fully what happened to Megatron in Earthspark but 
what I like about that is even though he's good, he's still ruthless to whoever he fights. I'm not sure what's the best way to describe it, like... It's like, his character didn't change, but his perspective did. And I think that's one thing I really like about some shows when they explore new characteristics of fan favorite characters. I think another good example would be how the Shredder is treated in Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because, um, the way the Shredder was treated there, like, a really dedicated and working uh, leader for a village in Japan. And then we find out that the Krang of the continuity gave them this, like, evil armor. Obviously he didn't know it was evil until he put it on. But then it, like, possessed him and gave him... The armor gave himself its own entity. That being of the Shredder. And the fact that this this, this big antagonist of the Shredder was built up over the show's like lifespan to arguably one of the best choreographed bit of animation I have seen in a long time. Honestly just flick on YouTube and go on and put put in Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Final Fight. If you're a fan of animation you will not be disappointed. Pardon. Yeah, I think I'm finally clicking what really gets to me with um, shows. I think it's a mix of the animation art style and the characters that are portrayed in it. I think if anything the closest show I've been sticking to recently would be Has Been Hotel. But really I've kind of been following that episode since I first saw the pilot all those years ago. Oh, I thought that was a shiny then. No, not them. But yeah, I'm just... I don't know. I think I kind of have the same situation with films as well. I haven't been to the cinemas in ages. I think the last time I went to the cinema was to go see the Super Mario Bros. movie. No, no. It was to see Spider-Man Spider Across the Spider-Bros. That was it. That was a good film. Can't wait for the sequel to come out. I know I'll be going to see uh, Deadpool and Wolverine as well. And heck, if someone wants to go with me, I'll go and see Transformers 1 in September. Nope. And then there's also Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as well. I think it's, um, I've never been really into comics, but honestly, I've been looking at some of the comic exclusive characters you find in, um, the IDW comics for Sonic. And there was one particular character I really liked the look of. Tangle the Lemur. I honestly just like the way she looks. Yeah, that, to me, like, that says to me, yeah, that's a Sonic character. That's a Sonic character. And I, I just hope they get some attention in the uh, in the mainline games. Imagine playing Tangle. That'd be cool. like maybe use their tail to swing across bits, Spider-Man style. Not saying there has to be a unique element to that to uh, change the game formula like it needs to for the twentieth time or anything. But still. Change is nice sometimes. And that's big coming from someone with autism. Ugh. Overstimulating my head with thoughts. Again. But yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying this. Uh, if you are, please consider subscribing. I'm here all week. Well, most of the week. Ugh.
Now where is the yellow piggy? No, you're not it again. Dang it. Ah, whoa, wow, well, hey, yeah, oh, almost hit ball. Almost hit one of the biggies. I hope they put some more attention, especially to the lighting. The lighting really messes up with your eyes at some points. <clears throat> also, apologies if my voice sounds a little bit off. Got a bit of a problem with my throat today. It was annoying when I woke up. Calmed down a bit now, but I don't know. Nice, just piggies. Hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked because I see people get shiny tepid all the time, even with or without the sandwich. I'm surprised I'm just getting bad luck. Also, in just some weird reality where PM7 sees this, uh, congrats on uh, getting all uh, 135 uh, Hoenn Pokemon for that shiny challenge you're doing. Well done. I, massive uh, well done to you. But again, I know this is never going to reach PM7, but I'm just putting my congrats out on the internet. Honestly, this is kind of getting a bit curious, I think, for the fact that I don't know why it's taking so long.
Come on. God damn it. Uh, stream edges is ready. Is it just gonna be a last minute finish here like last week? Because I'm not sure if I feel comfortable about how long Snivy took and it repeating. Yeah, I was expecting that. Please show up, please. I won't call you Piggy anymore. I won't reference Pork anymore. I promise. There we go. 
Phew. You really were a last minute finisher, weren't you? Time shiny weekend. I might have to pay attention to that. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at something about Poke Rogue. No, ma no, Mark. No worries. Oh, one minute to spare as well. Ah, uh, we might as well evolve it now then. I'm not sure what to think about the purple. It's a bit <laughs> random compared to the rest of the shiny. <laughs> it's just so weird. does not deserve to be that good. Look, look at the blue flames as well! Jesus Christ, that's such a good shiny! Let's have another look at it. Oh, good lord! Look at me! Look at that thing! It's nuts! Either way, uh, yeah. Another job well done? Before we spin the wheel again, we need to make some adjustments on here. Right, uh, now we get Stream Raiders up. Dead. Bye bye. I wish I could do that to the anthill in my garden. Oh no. Is it just that? It's a, it's a rock! It's just a rock! Why'd you have to kill a rock? Okay, 
that kind of makes a bit of sense, but still. I have no idea what that means. Damn. Alright then. Next shiny hunt. Next Pokemon where shiny hunting is. Actually doing a lot of stars now. Rowlet. It's the Rowlet boy. He's a Rowlet. We're doing Rowlet things. One more thing left to do as well. To make sure that the link actually takes you to the right thing. to make sure it works. Good. Alright, time to go and get Rowlet. Uh, well, yeah, um, okay, so, same situation as what happened with Snivy. We might have some problems for the fact that, uh, yeah. Sourcebook and dealing are quite, uh, abundant. That's the word, yeah, abundant. And, yeah, the whole situation with putting lettuce on to the, the bun. 
bun. <laughs> I'm immature. Yeah. That was a long um, lag break, wasn't it? Bitter and spicy. Oh, I literally only have enough of three shiny hunts. I'll be busy gulling it up. Careful. Last one. Good. Now we just gotta look for the round boy. And hope we don't find any deers. The ratio of deers instead of owls is very bad. Well, there's a rowlet. I'm not sure about the best location to find rowlet, though, I'll admit. But I will look and find a good thesis. Or whatever you do when you try and find a solution. Jesus Christ. The game freak went, fine, you want dearling? Have dearling. You got dearling everywhere. You got dearling when you don't want it. Have a shiny dearling. Dearling over there. Dearling for everyone until you can go, oh dear. Give me some owl boys. I want some owl boys. Coffee, Coffee Guy 41, we got a follow today, thanks to you. Coffee uh, Guy 41 just followed. Hope you're doing good today. We are currently hunting for the round boy of the shiny Rowlet. And we just actually found Tepic, actually, if you want to check the recent tab. Well, the recent uh, command. There you go. It's a recent command. 
And yeah, I'm just generally trying to find a good place to find it. Ah, uh, it's just me for now, but yeah, everyone's doing good. All my mates are playing Sea of Thieves. I will be joining them after this is done. And I didn't even know Snivy spawned this far out. <laughs> but yeah, I am doing very good. I just got myself a shiny piggy, and now I'm trying to find a shiny owl. Heck if I know what's happening with that. <laughs> hey, I found you last week. Yes, you are currently watching me play doing the Shiny Academy Challenge. Ever since the challenge came out, I have been dedicating myself to finding at least one of every one of the new added Pokemon from the Indigo Disc. And I mean every one of them, and at this point I think i am got 18 left up if I, after I find Rowlet. Ooh, bum. But, um, speaking of Rowlet, I actually need to find a good spot for it to spawn. <laughs> ah, da, da, da. Ah, no, that's another Snivy. I have found Snivy. Mm. And I don't, definitely don't need the Executor. And this isn't the first time Executor has shown up shiny, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay, uh... Yeah, I, I, I have not seen many Rowlets. I am kind of getting concerned about this. Where is the best place for they, them to spawn? That is outside of an outbreak, because that's not exactly exciting to watch, is it? Uh... Ooh. Oh, right, there's one. <laughs> Obviously, it's not shiny, though. So I'll let us to keep them moving. Hopefully not, but anyway, have a good stream. Got a few things that... Alright, no problem. Aha. Uh -huh. um... That is a right horn for some reason. <laughs> I'm finding more egg than owl. Did I actually walk into the flippin' springtime summer set or something? Cause I'm finding more deers and eggs. Oh, that's that's <laughs> okay. I thought it was just a shiny execute then, but it's just <laughs> five random rowlets. You gotta make up that one, can you? Please, I don't want any deers. I've had enough of Bambi. Can we ban the Bambi? This kind of feels like this is the best spot.
Hmm, random mandibuzz. It's one of the Pokemon I failed to get during the Kitakame challenge. <sighs> ah, hello Bradley, how are you doing today? Ah, welcome back. Very good to see you. We are after the Rallard boy now. And uh, we just caught the piggy as well, if you'd like to have a look at the recent command. Yeah, I think the wheel's just randomly picking stars at this point, in which I frankly am not complaining. What I'm complaining about is the infrequency of Rallard spawning. Like, there has been so few Rowlet, it's scaring me. <laughs> um, nope. Nope. It's just lots of egg. I remember what happened last time we saw a bunch of eggs. We had a non-binary revolution happen. Um, yeah, for coffee guy, I'll, I'll admit. That is a bit out of context. Maybe, but that does take a bit, for, I can say from experience. But frankly, you might be onto something. I, just, I don't want... I just don't like the idea of day skipping, considering it might be boring for you lot. But hey, if it what gets me the nice uh, hour green boy, that might be the case. I love having love having uh, in some words thinking I can't speak in welling. Uh, I love another sloop around the uh, area I was looking at before that had a lot of our to show up. I'm not liking how it's lagging a lot. I think it's that data leak problem this game has, where the longer you have the game open, the worse it performs. Yeah, but... I know we have to do to stop it, but... I don't know. Now I've actually got people watching the stream for once, I kind of don't want to do it because it might not be very... exciting watching me go through my flipping console settings. Alright, let's see if we can try and get this uh, outbreak spot sorted out for Rowl at them. Dang it, Bambi. As soon as I see a Rowlet, that means I'll be in the spawn window. Oh yeah, I know about I know how to day skip. It's just from experience, I know it can take a bit. If anything, it's down to RNG as much as shiny hunting is to RNG. Ah, there you go. There's a Rowler, so I know I'm in the spawn area. <sighs> right. Oh, yeah. Since I have the sandwich on, there will be an increased chance of there being... Uh... Outbreaks of grass types. Like that, for instance. I can't get away from the deers. 
Oh dear, oh dear. All the eggs, look, see? <laughs> Coincidence, I think not. I just can't get away from the eggs with deers. It's like it wants me to stay in spring or something. <laughs> Come on! It's even a joke at this point! Let me guess, it's gonna give me a deerling outbreak now. Oh, okay, that didn't take long. <laughs> There have been times where I've spent entire days looking for one Pokemon. And then that happens. <laughs> I catch you wondering it was Toto Dollar I struggled with. Alright then. Um, where are the relics? Ah, there they are. Whoops. Hello, round boy. Okay, I think it's time to show off my special technique about how I do outbreaks. As you can see, my character is right in the middle of these relics, so none of these will despawn when I leave. So now I can kill 60 of these guys, and if a shiny shows up, I can quickly go jump onto my character, and then go and catch it. But knowing my luck, I'll probably take the fact that I need to do this. Come on, baby. Let go my baby, let go my honey, let go the breakdown ride. I'm sorry you had to hear me sing. Look at me now, I'm suction cup man! I think that's an old instant meme at this point. Oh, but you can't say that. Hey Bradley, have you watched the amazing digital circuit yet? Ooh, ho oh, was a big one. Uh, if you've got, if you, if you don't have the charm on that, that's 1 in 300, and with the charm, that's 1 in 100, so... I think it's mainly just the time constraint of the method itself. That you told, that'll hold you up. But hey, I knew a friend who got Vaporeon in the lower world, so... Speaking of, um, apparently uh, Pokey Rogue is doing a... Ooh, F in the chat. Oof. Okay, that's 30. So, automatically we've got increased odds. Hey, if the, um... If the community gets big enough, I might even try and get a system going where... Uh, other community can help each other with getting the shiny, the, sh the uh, Pokedex done. Obviously, the uh, Pokemon side of my community isn't big enough to do that right now, but hey, you can dream, can't you? Uh, Frenzy's earning her keep this week.
Oh, I'm not gonna say I'm like I should never assume I'm gonna get big. But obviously, with the way um my life has been going, it's something I'm hoping for really. I'm not saying I'm trying to do it for an easy way out, but I have to admit, this is something I can feel like I can be comfortable doing for a living. But you can't assume getting big on social media is will happen. So the best thing I can do is just be as entertaining as possible for the people who do spot me. And then fingers crossed those people spread the word. <laughs> You should do with views, catch all the general trainings. Yeah, exactly. It's it's hard to get there. Like, but with the situation where my life is, it's just going to take a while for me to get alright. So, next best thing I can do is just play the long game with this. While I'm waiting for things to get sorted out that are more genuine like there is a good chance I, I will get myself sorted out and I will have a job and all that oh there we go that's all 60 done but right now it's uncertain and hey if I can get sorted out here before I get a job I won't need one but of course people will say you shouldn't hope to get famous on in the internet Heck, I'm not even asking for a big community, just something something I can bounce off of. Right, now that I've defeated 60 Rallets, I am at maximum odds of finding the Rallet. Touch wood, frankly. I've never had any proper haters or trolls yet. I think the worst case was just the generic Overwatch hater back when I was still uploading Overwatch content. And I, I kid you not, on my YouTube channel, that's my highest grossing video yet. And oh dear. Oh dear. I'm going to on purposely run away from that. I'm going to on purposely run away from that. I have already got so many of them. I don't need any more. Ten minutes to go. Whoops. Then I'm going to have a problem. I won't be able to make another sandwich for these guys. Yeah, hang on. I don't think you guys want that ding ding happening all the time, do you? So, but yeah, I have gotten so many deerlings or sauce bucks, mainly because of all the grass type starters I've been look I found. During the Chikorita video, I found four Saws Bucks. I don't need any more. But yeah, the situation I have is now, now that I've got this outbreak going, and I didn't manage to save before I did so, I can't use the next sandwich without wasting it. So I'm gonna have to hope, either hope I find it before the sandwich ends, or just ride on to Outbreak look.
Fingers crossed, I'll say that, considering we've already found the wrong shiny. But hey, I found a piggy today, so... <laughs> Yay, we found it! I don't have to save over the sandwich! Someone was here to see me get a shiny! <laughs> Alright, let's try an Ultra Ball with this one. I uh, hope it doesn't have Bright Bird. Oh, that stream made it ready. We'll do that after this hunt. Uh, let's try every people. It doesn't have a mark, so I don't have to check its summary. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right. Hey, let's see if we can find a second one. Oh, uh, I'll let something decide that in a minute. It's kind of the main gimmick of the challenge. But again, I'll keep that secret until after the sandwich is done. And it's just that this is the main gimmick of the challenge, and that's what makes it a challenge. Well, it's not really unique, other people do it, but still. Ooh, four units have joined us on Stream Raiders. We shall fight t to the death in a minute. For a minute, I thought I saw a bat. Which I love bats. I was even considering buying a bat box. It's like the- it's like a bird- it's like a birdhouse for a buff for a bat. But obviously since I'm not living on my own, it's not really my decision to make. Bats are so cool though. Why do you think we have Echo? <laughs> right here. Oh, I love Echo. Thing is, I have actually planned to do a bit of a tradition on if Noibat is available in a, in the in a game, I'm going to shiny hunt it. So far, I've done it in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. My first Noibat was in uh, Sword and Shield for the Masuda method, and uh, I obviously have multiple Noibats from Scarlet and Violet. I'm just trying to get it from its home region now, considering now that I've got one in the Friend Safari. You know, I've specifically got something set up for that, like, when I'm not feeling very well. So even when I'm ill, I'll be shiny hunting in some way. Uh, it's like, if I'm feeling ill and I'm not able to go on my PC at all, even if I'm on camera or not, I'll get me 3DS out, put something calming on the TV to watch, and then I'll be shiny hunting for a bat in the background. So, either way, I will be shiny hunting as a boy. <laughs> Although, I have to admit, I have taken a break from Pokemon games for a while. The only recent thing I've done has been playing um, Poke Rogue. I don't want the deer. Keep the deer away from me, oh dear, oh dear. Well, that... 
I'm getting surrounded, lads. But yeah, at the moment we're just finishing off the sandwich and now we'll move on to the next thing. Oh, um, so, sorry for the silence, Bradley. I was just trying to concentrate. Alright, well, it's gone to a minute. We're not going to find anything else. Let's evolve Rowlet into a Decidueye, and then we'll move on to the ne uh, Stream Raiders, and then the what we're hunting next. G emo owl boy. <laughs> Gotta be one of the best star shinies out there, right? Look at that. That looks so cool. Sparrow Shackle is yeah, spare shackle. Feather dance. Bye bye. There we are. Whoops. Right. Let's get on to the stream raiders. again. Right. Guess not. <laughs> Let's go for this guy. And uh, 
Let's go for the gold handball shinobi. Alright. So, ah, uh, right. Bradley, you're still there. 19 Pokemon left to go. Whew. Some of them really good, some of them really good, and some of them ready to blow me hair out. This is what we're choose this is what we're using to choose our shiny hunting. As you can see, we have 19 Pokemon left to find. So yeah, let's see what this turns out then. Uh, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It's a... <laughs> I was just, uh, not sure. Alright, okay. Our final hunt for tonight will be... Ooh, we're doing a lot of grass stars today. Chess pin! The, one of the easiest hunts to do. No joke. Yeah, let me just make some adjustments to the screen, eh? Yeah, this is arguably one of the easiest hunts to do. Just stick a grass sandwich in the charged stone cavern, and you're good. No other Pokemon spawns after that. And this is the final Kalos starter I need as well. As I've said, uh, if you guys want to see my past hunts of this challenge, you can gladly go so to go do so in my YouTube channel. There you are. Right. Thing is, I've only got one Herbert Mystica left. <laughs> Too, but you get the point. So watch of the Usher. Yeah, I'm, I was keeping an eye on the Pokey Rogue Reddit, and apparently there's a free time shiny event happening. So I kind of want to have a look at that. Right. Save. And see, there you go, there's a chest bin there already. And same as what I did just then, another grass sandwich and the last of our Herbamessica. Oh god. That's why I save, people, that's why we save. So I've got multiple tries of this. And my god, why is it so bright?
Oof. That was close. Just for a bit of fun. Skeleton, my boy. All right, that last hunter tonight commence. I think primarily, I have to admit, Chespin has to be my least favorite grass starter. Mainly, cause I just, have you seen Quilladin? I, I can't say I love Quilladin. I can only say I don't like it, and I can definitely say I hate it. And Chestnut's just so meh. It just feels like... They were going to make it a fire starter, but they quickly added a giant walnut on its back. And I can understand why people didn't like Delphox. I don't mind Delphox. If anything, I'm a Delphox defender. Quote unquote, not while not, while not being a furry. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, it's just general the fact that. Delphox is just very, very fun to use in a fight. Overall, the idea of a Firefox is cool. And not just outside the fact that it's a, a reference to the website. And just the idea of it being a wizard, more of, the, of a witch, is interesting. Like, it's more of a sorcerer, if anything. But I can understand why people are a bit put off by it because of the fur coming out of its ears. Makes it look like it still has ear hair. Whoops. Wow, that was quick. You see what I mean? Chespin's just really easy to get. And I was talking about... Well, I guess you don't need to make that prediction. I've already got enough split pain. Mental split pain. You know, Bradley, thinking on the top of my head. We might only need one more grass type starter. Let's have a look. Okay, so let me see. Venusaur, Meganium, Rillaboom, Septile, Superior, Decidui. That's seven. And the, yeah, there's only one more grass starter we need to find. Turtwig. You think what I'm thinking? Let's finish the grass starters. And the thing is, I recently um, hatched a shiny masquerader as well. Well, more like a shiny sprigatito. So then I'll have every grass star ever in.
Whoops. Hmm. Almost not picked up this item. I am gonna save now, actually. Because obviously I've found what we're here for. I'm just trying to go for a bonus, considering we've got loads of time left. And fingers as well with Torterra. It's my favorite Sinnoh's daughter. And it's making me think, I think I always shine towards the grass stars. It's weird. Very weird. And pull up. <laughs> Top gun, eat my ass. My little turtle boys. Dead week. Dead week everywhere. Dead week. Dick, 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 dead week. Ignore my horrible impression of Turtwig in the anime. We have to admit, though, that um, Ash's Turtwig was good, great when it was a Turtwig, but terrible when it was a Grottle and tur Torterra. Was, I hate to say it to my boy, but yeah, you should have stayed a Turtwig. Oops, whoops. I'll move Turtwig here, but I won't put Turtwig on the board because it's more of, it's not really a, a fine thing, it's more of a bonus thing. And it's more, it's also more for the fact that it's while I'm here, like it won't be the end of the world if I don't find it. I'm still nervous about when I have to go and get Cyndaquil. If you know why, you know why, but honestly, I don't get why to, um, Cyndaquil is such an awkward spot. There we are. Loads of turd twigs. Honestly, I've been hunting nothing but stars the last few weeks. Ooh. That's down to difficulty, really. Or uh, your preference on which shine you think looks cooler. Out of preference, I think this is the order I'd go for in terms of how good the shiny is for them. Dialga, Ho-Oh, and Mewtwo. Honestly, Dialga has such a subtle, but it works shiny. Like, I'm not sure how the best way to describe it, it's just, it looks so good, yet it doesn't change much. Like, it still looks like a blue uh, Pokemon, but it just changes it to more of a cyan blue. Alright, Bradley, you're cheating now. I've already found the shiny. <laughs> Obviously, it's a joke, but I will. <laughs> I wonder where the cleaver is. Hopefully, you can get a shiny. I'll do what I can. <laughs> I 
I think, on all honesty, I think the prediction function only works when you've actually got more than one person watching you. <laughs> if anything, I think I was just messing around with it. I've never had much luck with that. Like, for some reason, it just spawns less than what it was to begin with. I'm not sure if it's just me or the way I do it. I think the main thing that works for me is just to keep moving. The more I move, the more Pokemon despawn, and that means the more respawn. So many little turtle boys. I love Turtwig. Turtwig is so amazing. Uh, if you're hearing that barking, apologies, that is not my dog. It's a twig, it's a twig, it's a twig, it's a thirteen. Mm. It looks so weird seeing Cypher's wings folded up like that until you get close to it. I'm getting so hyped up. It's not the end of the world. We've got a full 18 minutes left. Considering Chespin did not take long to evolve. It still did not get beaten by Squirtle though. Watch the Squirtle video if you're wondering. I think I'm getting chapped hands. I think it's just the general humidity that's just getting to my hands or something, I don't know. Either way, I will not stop trucking. Yep, the shiny pain, the shiny pain. Thing is, there are some shiny hunting methods that don't rely on the charm to be good. SOS, SOS chaining, I've, I've been able to do full odds. It just takes a bit of patience. And to make sure that your Pokemon don't crit when they're trying to hit Meteor Mash. Yeah, it still hurts.
Oh, sorry for the awning. I don't even know where it's coming from. And uh, if uh, you guys are enjoying this content on the VOD, uh, please make sure to uh, follow me on Twitch. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are live three days a week, doing a variety of things every stream. And uh, what's more important than shiny hunting? Shiny hunting while live, right? That is just a shameful plug. Actually, it isn't shameless. I feel terrible. I'm sorry. I gotta do promoting from both ways, don't I? So, uh, do you play Pokey Rug, Bradley? Like, I know it's quite new, so... Like, I've been hearing a lot of things about there being a shiny, shiny events during major things. If that's the way you want to... If that's the way you want to shiny hunt. Well, like, I, I've been playing it recently, and, um... Mixed bag, really. I like the way it does progression with your Pokemon's levels. I hate the way it's so easy to hit a ro roadblock though. I understand it's a rogue and it needs to be difficult for the rogue to work, but... Mm. It's the worst when you lose at the very last level. And honestly, I don't know why I keep yawning. It, it is fun, I'll say that. It's just, when you get to a roadblock, it, it, you just can't help but get annoyed at yourself. But then again, it's not easy for me to get, it's not hard for me to get annoyed at myself. I'll admit that. Wholeheartedly that it is not hard for me to get annoyed at myself. And I am trying to fix that. The best way I can be with my community is be honest, and I honestly say I do have problems with liking myself, but I am trying to fix that. And I'm sorry I am in that situation to begin with. And I'll admit, there might be one or two streams in the future that might impact that. It might have already impacted them, but right now. I can say that um, I am trying to fix that. So I'm sorry. Come on, give me Turtle Boy. Thanks, Bradley. Give me turtle boy. Yeah, 
They, they already do. I can say that. They already do. But the main thing I was just trying to get across was just... I want to be honest to the, this community I'm trying to form. So... I don't exactly want to hide this. Like, I know some people think it's best to hide this. But... No. Don't misread what I'm saying, though, chat, because... Nothing drastic will happen. I'm not saying that's going to happen. It will never happen. But people do know about this, so don't worry about it, Bradley. One way how to get a good. Yeah, exactly. Trust and honesty. That's why I want people to know that I have. Trust and honesty with them. Call it weird, cringe, whatever, but I kinda feel a little bit of closure saying that. Oh, we do do raids. It's just uh I hate I hate to admit it, but we don't have enough people to make a very impactful raid. We've always said that if we were ever going to do raids, we'd do it with a minimum of five people. Any less, then it's not worth doing. Besides, I haven't really real seen any of my um, followers stream themselves. There are some I interact. There are some streamers I interact with. It's just, annoyingly, when they do stream, it's when I'm not, or asleep, or on the other side of the world, and all that. <laughs> you can do it in the Pokemon games on Nintendo. Oh, that kind of raid. Oh yeah, that, that's intention. We're going to eventually do that, it's just... We, di we did try to do that at one point, where, like... I'd do it with people in the chat, but again, nobody came up. I think the thing is, me and the mods have realized recently. Oh, uh, speaking of which, <laughs> hello, Malavard. A new follower has come back. We've reached the follow goal! <laughs> yes! We reached the follow goal of 390! Modified, you have... Oh, you've made my night. Thank you, Monovad. Now we can jump up the follower goal to 400. Bit convenient that we were talking about that stuff and then someone joins it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, welcome Monovad, hope you're doing good. Ooh, stream raiders is almost ready to start. Ooh, that was chaotic. Right, now it's just up to the jump from 390 to 400. I'm hoping we can do it. Let's see what the sandwich gun. Six minutes, all right. Whew. 
I did not. I, I, I didn't even recognize that that was the final follow. I don't think Mana Val's here. Yeah, like, that, that, that's the kind of raids we. That was the kind of raids I was on about. Like, we have tried to do that in the past. I think, it, again, it's just... What me and the mods have realized recently is, um... People do like the content. Like, we realized that what we're doing is working. It's just... The algorithm is just doing us in. Like, it's not pointing people the right direction towards us. Ooh, six units in streamer is good. But above all else, just... The algorithm just doesn't help us in Switch or YouTube. Or TikTok, but that doesn't really matter either. Just, we've done so much for the channel the last few... The last couple of years. It just... The algorithm is just pushing us down. Because... From all the people we've talked to who have managed to see us in the rare occasion... They do like our content and have even joined our Discord. True, they haven't spoken in ages, but they have confirmedly said they like the content. It's just the algorithm that's ruining it. And no one can stop that. So we've just got to wait for that big lucky surge of people. Right? Like I said, extremely chaotic tonight. Not as chaotic as last week, since we had a whole revolution of non-binary people, but oh well. Eh, uh, I'll be sailing on the high seas with them after this, and after my video editing. Gotta get some videos ready for to, up to upload tomorrow. Exactly. Like I, I can do it. It's possible. I just need people to look the right way at the right time, that's all. That was my dog. Come on, Ted Squig. A lot of people just followed to me today. Oh, it's a Pat Adele Terrier. Adorable little thing. Got loads of pictures in the Discord. They've got a whole tab dedicated to people sending pics of their pets. Very popular. Thing is, she's as shy as anything, but then um, when it's. Yeah, she's as shy as anything, but when it comes to like an, a random bump or a knock on the door, she apps like crazy. It's getting to that point where I think it's starting to affect our hearing. But no matter what training we do, we can't stop her. Yeah, she's just too adorable. And um. Like I know it's what that I know it's I, I like it words English man. I know that's what dogs do as a defense, like as a warning, or it's just how they communicate to other dogs. But it's just down to the fact that we can't we can't stop her. Ugh. Just looking at the way uh, Maridon glitched and just made me think of the Amazing Digital Circus. If you've seen that. It's very on YouTube if you want to have a look. Really cool. Oh 
Oh, I, I definitely recommend it, especially for the fact it is free to watch. It's one of those, um, test your psychiatric shit uh, shows. Nope, no shiny. Again, not the end of the world if we don't find it. It might be able to mess around with it when it um, actually rolls onto the wheel on the edit. And I just put the famous uh, Master Uber meme. My time has come. Ah, uh, no worries. Get into it, get the grind going. Soon you won't know what life is. <laughs> I will admit though, it is... It is disastrous when the uh, when you lose the raid. Cause you get into that mindset of, I bet you that one would have been the shiny. I think it's more of an impact when you have the charm, so you have the highest odds though. Oh, yep, that's the sandwich done. No worries. Alright, let's go involve chest pin and then we'll wrap up. <sighs> what a belter of a stream this was. No marks today, but hey, after what happened with Zep Striker, I think we can do without. <laughs> oh, I hate Quilladin. But I also hate that it's got a really good shiny. Chestnut shiny looks really good. Spiky shield. All right, then. A good, a very good job. Well done. All right, then. And save. And we're good. But before we finish up, let's get Stream Raiders done. Oh, ignore that. That's... Oh, God. Not again. One minute. <sighs> it's almost every stream this happens now. And now we face giant froggy. Uh, I'm guessing there was bound to something to fail today. <laughs> Hey, you can't win them all, I guess. Alright. Alright, folks. Uh, that'll be it for the stream today. We had major progress for the progression of the channel today. We managed to reach the follower goal of 390. So that means we can move on to the major goal of 400 followers. So, yeah. Big. And we managed to get three more shinies today, being Tepig, Rowlet, and Chespin. 
So obviously, the wheel will decide next week's hunt. So yeah, uh, thank you all for watching the stream today, and thank you all for watching the VOD today. If you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. We've made a lot of progress with Twitch today. We've recently made a lot of progress on YouTube. Let's keep it going. But for now, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. Bradley, you have been amazing for the company today. And yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, I'll see you all for Monday afternoon, which will be Persona 5 Tataka. And also, keep an eye on YouTube for the video uploads. Until then, see ya.